Hello, I am a little lady. No, I'm not. I'm George. We're here to do some Apollo justice. It's quiet. It's always quiet. It's weird to me that there's no music on my title screen, but we're going to court today, boys. All right, it's time to get Alita Tiala under the hot seat. On the hot seat, we're going to rake her over the coals. We're going to burn her like a witch. We think that she is a, a, a naughty girl who's done some naughty things, possibly murder. Um, I'm bringing my A game today with me because, you know, got to be on the judge's good side. Got to bring a full case. I think I can do it. I think I'm prepared. Let me get my hellos in order. Phoenix of Grander, eating some leftover birthday cake. What is your cake of choice? Are you like a vanilla guy, a chocolate guy, or like something a little bit more creative? A belated happy birthday, Ted. Good to see you. John F., happy to have you here. Steven, hi. Uh, Minty Matcha Hope. I still don't know if I'm saying your name correctly, but hi. Um, and then we got Breezy and Jacob Welsh, who's letting me know that the audio is okay. So, that's good. Let's open up the game. And I think this will be a good trial. <sighs> How's today been for you guys? I did, oh, update. I went to the gym today, it was leg day, and I used my pre-workout, and let me tell you, I didn't notice any difference. <laughs> I didn't feel any worse off, but I also didn't like feel any like particularly more energized, so. I started small because they say you, you, they say start with just a single scoop to like see if you have any like weird side effects, um, if, if it's like a little bit much for you, and then you can up to two scoops. So maybe I'll try two scoops tomorrow. I don't want to like, you know, over caffeinate myself, but again, I, I'm a scientist by nature, so I'm a skeptic of actual, believe it or not, I'm a skeptic of most of the things in there, <laughs> you know. Um, I, I believe a lot of false promises get made with a lot of pre-workouts of like, there's a fat burner, this thing is going to do this, that thing's going to do that. There, there, there's a laundry list of ingredients, but the active ingredient in most of the, them is just caffeine. And at the very least, you would think that the caffeine would like give you a, a little bit more energy in the gym. So, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I didn't take up any placebos, I don't think. Um... Game audio might be a bit loud. We'll find out. June 17th, 9.52 a.m. District Court, defendant lobby number two. Boys, let me know if the game audio is too loud. Dun, dun. Bum, bum. All right, we got music. Um, you guys will have to wait 30 seconds for the delay, but then let me know. This is it. The big day. Uh, did you get any sleep? Yeah, I, I went to bed at one o'clock or so. Oh? What time did you wake up? Three o'clock. <laughs> nice. A solid two hours of sleep. Love that for us. That's only two hours, Apollo. But at least you have me. Right, oh my god, and Mr. Hat, of course. Girl, <clears throat> I'd be a little bit more concerned about bringing Mr. Hat out in the courtrooms. All right, we're gonna get busted sooner or later. All right, shove that thing back inside of your keister and let's go. Looking at you, kid. Good luck today, Apollo. That voice. Ah, Daddy Nick. Get any sleep? Mr. Wright. I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing at the... I... 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 At the restaurant. Seem almost fun. Daddy, do you know who Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Take a guess. Hmm. How about Little Plume? Ha! <laughs> that Sherman tank of a mom. Nope. Guess again. That's too bad, you know. Speaking of moms. Um, you're gonna need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. <gasps> Phoenix, who are you dating? It's barely morning and you're already at it, Trucy. I guess he didn't end up dating, uh, Iris. Or he did, and it didn't work out. Ugh, God. You know, see, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiala, your client's fiance. The betrayal! 
She's being a witness for the prosecution? Oh, she's guilty as sin. How is she going to go against Walkie, her beloved husband? She's going to be a witness? But that seems odd. But why would she testify against her own fiancé? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today, that much is clear. Well, not to worry. I got my panties back. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there. <laughs> Fucking Christ, Trucy. That's what we need. Just, just pull out a random killer, throw him into the brig. June 17th, 10 o'clock, it is time to start. All right, turn your lawyer brain on. We gotta do this. <coughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Walkie Kotaki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is warmed up, and it's a sold-out house. Very well, to recap. Well, yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party. Guilty of panty snatching. We did find out one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Herr Judge. And today I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon and the preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all you see. To his betrothed. His betrothed? His fiance, Herr Judge. His partner for life, with no chance for parole. Ah, uh, very well. You may show the, um, lucky lady to the stand. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Your name and occupation, Frau Lloyd. Alita Tiala. My occupation is future wife. <laughs> oh my Christ. <laughs> that's, that's a job and a half, all right? She's gonna be on the Real Housewives of Japanifornia. She's in with the mob. She's gonna be a queen and a hunty. She's gonna go out to dinner. She's gonna flip a table and throw a glass of wine at some broad who's hitting on her husband and be like, bitch, you better back off. And then the gays are gonna watch it and we're gonna tweet about it and we're gonna be like, oh my God, did you see what Alita did tonight on the RHLJ? It's a thing. Wait for it to come out. Ugh, too many brides these days. Can't even weave baskets blindfolded underwater. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. Did, did I miss something? Oh, no. I, sorry. I thought there was a chance to look at... Uh, judge? What are you going off about? Uh, it doesn't matter. Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. To be honest, I didn't really want to testify at first. But I couldn't hide the truth. Hmm. Honesty. Another admirable trait. Do you watch Real Housewives, George? Honestly, I've never watched it, but I've seen clips that circulate on Twitter of, like, the viral moments. Frau Loin, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant Waki Kataki confessed his plans? His plans for murder. Yes. Ah, oh, the witness will give her testimony to the court. Walkie's plan. All right, go ahead and throw your husband under the bus. You know what? You should be fired. This is how you're going to treat the man who's going to give you all of your money. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Walkie found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And, I mean, you already know what happens that night. I just... I, I really don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it. So, the pistol did belong to the Kataki family then. Yes. With regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kataki mansion. On charges of the possession of illegal firearms. Hmm. And the bullets that took the victim's life, was it? Fired from the pistol that the defendants procured? Yes, this has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks on the barrel that fired them. It's called rifling marks. Rifling marks? 
Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint, Frau Loin, left on every bullet it fires. And when did you first hear about Walkie's plan? It was the day of the murder. I probably should have stopped him. I just didn't think he'd actually do it. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Okie doke. Well, let's cross-examine everything. Oh, our bracelet is up. We should also remember to look for anything suspicious. All right. Hold it! Hold it. That was the day of the murder, correct? Yes. Everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Waki looked at his, his face went so pale. But of course, he had just found out that he had a bullet in his chest. So, you were there at the time? Uh-huh. Poor Waki. When Waki found out, he flew into a rage. Alright. That must have been, uh, quite frightening. frightening. Oh, he was furious. He ripped up his report into shreds! Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file as evidence. A bothersome chore, but one I performed without complaint. Waki's at an age where he's a little hard to control when he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of instability, it's so cute! Great. Uh, she sounds like a psycho- he sounds like a psychopath. I'll teach him, he said. Then he took one of the family's pistols. So, is it easy to take a pistol out from the house? Not really, I think. There's a system in place to limit access. But I mean, Waki's a special case, being the next in line. Perhaps his treatment was a little bit too special, yeah. Well, maybe he's just a bit spoiled. I hear he got amazing presents for his birthdays. Last year was a switchblade made out of chewing gum and a chocolate gravestone. <laughs> you know, your definition of an amazing present is not my definition of an amazing present. Um, Angel H, fun fact, in Japan, it's illegal for civilians to own a pistol. The only firearms allowed are shotguns and rifles for people living in rural areas who hunt or need to scare away wild wildlife. And I think also an exception is made for people who, like, do it as a sport professionally, which is a weird sport, but I, I, I think there's some other professional thing you can do to get a gun. But yes, I, I understand your fun fact. Everywhere outside of the United States has more gun control than the United States. <laughs> I personally don't like guns. And... You know what? If people want to own a safety pistol for a firearm, go off. The automatic rifles, that's a bit much. And then for me personally, listen, I'm a, I'm a data-driven guy, and the statistics are the statistics. You are more likely to be involved in a firearm-related incident, a, a lot more likely, if you keep a firearm in the household. And it's like, for me, I'm not comfortable with one being in my home. <laughs> so I know that I have to find a guy who is also okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't share the paranoia that a lot of Americans have where they feel like they have to have one because at any moment in time somebody's going to break in and try to kill you and having the firearm locked in your safe is going to be your saving grace. Okay. <laughs> but let's not get political. There's a difference between rights and personal opinions. My personal opinion is only for me. I can't attest to anybody else. I know that I don't like them. I have friends who very much love guns. It's just, I don't have that American quality. Anyways, we're here in a court of law, Mr. Justice. The point is that Walkie had access to the pistol. Right. And you already know what happens that night. Yeah, but why don't you talk to me about it? What happened? Meaning the murder. I tried to stop him, I really did. But... Walkie wouldn't listen. Also, fun fact, I, I might have said this before on stream, but my family is next to... So my grandparents, they had an incident, not at their house, but at the house next to them, which also happens a lot. The amount of accidental deaths because of misunderstandings with firearms is a big thing. 
my grandparents used to live on a cul-de-sac, which is like, you know, you, you go down a street and there's like a circle and then you have the houses do 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 around them. And the next door neighbors to my grandparents, they were having a Christmas party. And one of the guests at the Christmas party, they got super drunk. They like went out. I, I don't know what they were drinking, but at some point in the evening, they got confused in their drunken state and they walked into the wrong house. Instead of going back into the house that the party was at, they went to like another house adjacent to that one. And the homeowners, they panicked, they got freaked out. They thought they were being attacked or robbed. And without asking any questions in self-defense, self-defense, they took their emergency gun and they shot this guy and he died. And he was not like a burglar or someone trying to kill them. He was just like a drunken fool that walked into the wrong house. But he walked on their property. They were scared, too scared to like ask questions or assess the situation. They just shot and it, the bullet happened to hit him in a way that uh, he did not survive. It was wild. <laughs> but Waki wouldn't listen. Our defendant was nothing if not determined, it seems. Ah, oh, the last thing you should do is blame yourself, miss. I just don't see how anyone but Walkie could have done it. Hold it! Yeah, w what kind of wife are you? How can you say that for certain? How? Objection! Oh! Oh, daddy. Ah, oh, hi. Herr Forehead, you will refrain from badgering the Frau Loin. It was the defendant, um, Walkie, was it, who took the pistol from his home? We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So how could anyone else have used the pistol to shoot the victim? They could not. Simple logic, ya. Yeah. That does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything regarding this point? Uh, could someone else have used that pistol? Had to be walkier or there was another. Hang on. Two rounds are fired, checked fingerprints. Yeah, 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 someone else could have fired it. Two rounds were fired. I, I think, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I wasn't paying the most, I, I got a little distracted this testimony. <laughs> it's possible I might be fucking up now. Oh no. Uh, based on your testimony, there was clearly another. One other person had access to that pistol. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense then. Tell the court who this other person with access was. I mean, let's just throw Alita under the bus, because we, we know it's going to be her. Well, of course I mean you, Miss Tiala. Uh, me? But why? You were quite clear when you told the court. You heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Yeah, we got her in a logic trap. Let me get this straight, Herr Forehead. You intend to tell us that the lady stole the pistol from her fiance. And killed a man in cold blood on his behalf. Yes, ooh, girl, she's got those legs. I've heard of people doing strange things for love. But this? It does seem a bit unfathomable to be sure. Nonsense! Most murders that happen are the result of either people murdering their loved one because they hate them, or murdering someone else on behalf of their loved one because they hate that person. <laughs> it, it's like, it's like murder 101. <laughs> I'm all for romance and for supporting your partner, to be sure. But I think I would hesitate as well. I mean, I'd hope you'd do more than hesitate. But there's some, like, crazy people out here. But what if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim. We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Hmm. That would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connections are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think, Apollo? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. I think so, too. I have evidence showing a connection between the witness, Miss Tiala, and the victim. Where is that papier? Not this one. This one. Throw it at him. Hmm. That looks like... a medical chart. Found inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic, Your Honor. I'd like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? M Miss Tiala! What a Why is your name on this chart? 
Oh, look at her sweating, girl. Look, don't give me that fucking evil eye, you nasty little bitch. You dug your own grave. I'm just here to push you inside of it. Well, care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? Oh, God. I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Whoa, our little fiancé just froze over. I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? Miss Tiala! You testified that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. Now. I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess, you're the kind of guy who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. Am I right? Mmm, girl, that's a red flag on Tinder if I ever heard one. But that's not true at all. Why, I... I embrace the ones I love and past look past their flaws and... Look, there's no connection now? That doesn't fly in a court of law. Doesn't fly? Ugh, she's a bit of a tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the Katakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, that's true. But you remained connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. Um... Yes, I'm... Yes. Give me a... One... Moment. Walkie's chart book. Connected to the Maractus Clinic? That might be the slippers, because she took them from there. Use the patients at the Maractus Clinic. Big toe shoe print found. Uh, we could build a case off of that, for sure. Let me just do a real quick check, make sure that there's nothing else that would make more sense. Honestly, I don't think there is. Use the slippers. Well, I suppose I could see. Hey, forehead. This trail you think you have found, it doesn't lead to the truth. Nor to a long career in the legal profession, ya. Yeah. Well, gee, thanks. Perhaps you allow me to do the honors. Hmm. Why not? It might be nice for a change. Most excellent. Let's rock. Wait, I lost? Oh, uh, maybe I was too premature. Oh! Wow, way to make it sting. I'll take the usual penalty next time, thanks. Evidence that proves the witness is connected to the direct. Okay, so that was a, that was an oops. That's fine. <laughs> um, hang tight. Let's look more carefully. Found in the Maractus Clinic safe, squished from impact with the back of the safe, but like, mmm. Nurse's Elite Tiala, lamp, found in the Maractus Clinic. A red stain. Can I check that red stain really quick? I know this probably isn't the time, but I'm curious about if there's anything more I can look at with regards to the stain. Oh, 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 wait, oh, there we go. This cord runs to the lamp. It has a red stain on it. I gotta wonder what left that stain. Wait, I know. Maybe it was left there by a red marker. Like, they were trying to write their name and, and slipped. Why would anyone write their name on a lamp cord? I used to write my name on my magic ropes. Alright, so that wasn't very helpful. Um, that's fine, keep looking. Present from Walkie, found in the mar Oh! I submitted the wrong fucking shoes. Why don't I use the shoes that actually belong to her that were found in the clinic? God damn it. These sandals were found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Uh, well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those last season Prada boots. Ah, uh, astute me alive, Frau Loin, but your act isn't working. Oh, is he on our side? Your moment of hesitation just now cost you. Excuse you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you're unaware that toes leave toe prints. A simple analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Yeah. Hmm. Well, now we see your true colors. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... 
I just wanted you to help get Walkie back on the straight and narrow. Hmm. This Gort thinks you need to worry less about Walkie, and more about yourself. It sounds as though we need to hear a little more about your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic, which means you went there on the day of the murder. <sighs> There's a little point in denying it. Very well, the witness will tell us about this visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? <sighs> Guys, we're gonna get her. I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man. Too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful. As an old friend. Hmm. By mistake, you mean... The mistake we heard about from the defendant. The botched operation. He was a timid, small man, but I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Hmm, that does make sense. Yeah, but there's still one thing which does not. What's that? The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, yeah. Then why did she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. Oh my god, Prosecutor Gavin, he's doing our job for us. I would have worn those sandals home, too. So why were the sandals left behind? I have an answer. He pointed out the contradiction before me. There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Tiala? Say, for instance, there happens to be a similar pair of sandals there which you wore home by mistake. Actually, that's right. Thank you, Gavin. Oh, it's nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Yeah, forehead. What? Uh, whoa, 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 I thought he was helping me. He's just trying to fill in the gaps in her testimony. Well, that's not gonna fly, because I have toe print analysis. All right, I wonder if we can go after that right away. D did she add that to her testimony, perchance? We'll have to see. Doctor was a timid man, too timid to do his own. All, all of this is bullshit. I wanted to tell him to be careful. Okay, all of this is bullshit, but we don't have the line where she said that she was wearing sandals by mistake. So let's start pressing things. Around what time did you go to the clinic? I don't remember exactly, but it was after 9.30, I think. And that was the first time you contacted Dr. Maractus in half a year? Of course it was. He wasn't the kind of boss you made uh, friends with, you know? So why did you go to the clinic that day? Went to warn him. Did you want Dr. Maractus to run away? Well, after I failed to stop walking, I thought that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called? Why go in person? I called several times that evening, but no one was in. The victim was busy driving home until 9 o'clock that night, remember? This was proven by the mirror yesterday, yeah? I thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure, knowing the doctor. Always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. You mean that act of malpractice on Walkie, correct? If he'd just told Walkie the truth in the beginning, none of this would have happened. Ah, true. The operation was the start of this whole affair. Of course, if he told him, he might have been erased by the Katakis much earlier. Ah, oh, a disturbing thought. We know that the Maractus Clinic had ties to the Kataki family. He probably couldn't have gone to the police even if he wanted to. So that's why I knew I had to warn him. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. No dark secrets, eh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice. You're not gonna find a thing. Oh, she's hiding something. I know it. I gotta have some evidence that proves it, too. You're free to think what you like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. Hmm. That's a suspicious statement. Do you think I can present the slippers? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's sussy. 
is highly sussy. It might be premature, but I'm feeling ballsy today, boys. Let's go! Fuck! It was not time. It was not the time or the place. Oh, man. Okay, it's fine. We're a rookie attorney. We can make mistakes. Yeah, penalize me. That's fine. The sweat is coming. It's coming hard and it's coming fast. I almost feel like I need, need a cloth to dab myself. Fuck off, bitch. Let's keep pressing. We'll, we'll circle back to it. But then you'd be betraying Walkie, wouldn't you? No, I did it for him. For us. She went to warn him so that her fiancé would not have to commit such a crime, y'all. Yeah. I didn't want them to take my Walkie away. No, there's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened at that clinic, and fast! So that is the sus... the suspicious line. We just presented the wrong thing. Why else would she have gone to the clinic? Can we check this, too? We got the face, right? Love the personalized touch. Seems a shame to hide on the bottom of the bowl. Paint flaked off of the bowl. Oh, that's interesting. This is the red paint, which was also on the lamp. I wonder how that's gonna come into play. After buying the cheapest paint. That's very interesting. Can we look at the inside now? Mascot, Mr. Salty. It's not a very endearing mascot, is it? Not at all. You know, come to think of it, it looks a lot like you, Apollo. Especially the red parts. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So the paint on the bowl seems to be red in a way that would match the paint on the lamp. Good to know about that. Trucy's panties, cell phone, that's all old stuff. Fingerprint powder, Maractus's autopsy report. Single bullet to the right temple. Damage to brain resulting from bullet wound. Time of death between 10.15 and 10.45. Knife, the noodle stand. Victim died pulling it. Little plumes. Walkie's checkup report. Metallic object found near the heart. Slippers didn't work. Got her shoes. The lamp. Tom Leah, thank you for the dollar! Tomla donated one dollar. Not in stream BC, I haven't watched Tuesdays yet, but I got to see my new digs yesterday. Oh. Two bedrooms, he's adding more air conditioning, a nice backyard, washer, fridge, oven, stove already there. It's a nice place. Yeah? Oh, that's so exciting. A two bedroom. Nice. I thought about upgrading to a two bedroom here, but um. I, I do like my loft a lot. There's a unit in this building that is a two-bedroom loft, but it's already occupied by tenants, and I thought they might have been moving out, but they simply were not. So, I did not upgrade. But, I, I feel like it would be nice to have an extra room if given the opportunity. Anyways. Maybe the bullet? There's- I don't know how I could tie that to Alita, though. Signed by Nurse Alita Tiawa. Right, there's this. Um... Would I use this again and say, like, she wanted to go for the chart? Maybe. Because we found the chart in a safe. So, like, my brain tells me that since we already used the chart, my brain's like, oh, we couldn't use the chart again. But sometimes you can reuse evidence multiple times. And honest to Christ, I don't see anything else at all making sense for Alita to go. We could also, the other thing we could say is that like, I guess it was a secret, oh geez. <laughs> Tomla Jumpscare has just donated $3. Landlord's only charging me $500 rent too, even though it's not full price BC, my family and his are that close despite my dad legit telling him not to lose money and me being fully prepped for $700. He's helping so many moving fears. Oh, nice. 500 for a two-bedroom. That's, that's a steal. That's good. Nice on ya. Um... Why don't I do a save of confidence before I 
fuck things up worse. Interesting. Alita? You- whoops. <laughs> Alita, I'm gonna get ya. Don't you worry. Don't return to the title screen. Let's try the chart again, because I don't think anything else could possibly work. Objection! Oh, God bless. <sighs> um, this chart was found inside the safe in the doctor's office. Yeah. Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Tiala, you know why it was, don't you? Ooh, we got her. Hmm. Do you mind filling me in? Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Oh, bad hair doctor. And this is where you come in, Miss Tiala. <laughs> she looks so unamused. The nurse who filed this chart was you, which means you knew about Walkie Spell's operation. That's a big secret. Hmm, interesting. You were in the same position as Dr. Maractus. Kind of makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? Oh, we got her now. You're bold for a novice, I'll give you that. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Hmm. This chart business seems to be quite important. Please amend your testimony accordingly. Too bad, little attorney. Oh! My bracelet! I'm gonna check on that in a second, but first things first, I'm getting hot and bothered, and I think my AC went out, so I need to return that back on. Someday I should learn how to, it, to set it up so it just stays on. Give me one moment, fits again. Yes, Jesus Christ, you guys, it was 74 degrees in here. That's, that's a bit much for summer weather. I would very much like to cool it down in here a little bit. Losing my damn mind with this AC. The, the reason my, I'm struggling with it is like, there, there's a thermostat and I can program it, but you have to program it in a way that's not very user friendly. You have to like go in and program it for each day of the week, but then at different hour intervals, because it automatically shuts off at different hours. And it's like, I don't, I have to like sit there for like a, a hot 30 or 40 minutes one day and like go through every single hour of every single day and be like, stay at this temperature. Ugh. Uh, my bracelet's reacting again. What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet vibrate just now. Your bracelet? Yeah, just like yesterday. Like you said. When a witness is unsure of something, their nervous habit, it gives them away. But I can't see anything, Apollo. Oh, Trucy, looks like I'm gonna be a little bit better than you at this game. Haha. <laughs> so wait a sec, wait, wait, wait. Then what's my bracelet reacting to? Well, wait, maybe. Oh, that has to be it. What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine. Huh? I can't see it, but you can sense it. I don't know about that, Trucy. I I'm not like a superhero or anything. I just sometimes see people in the abyss of nothingness as a red circle swirls behind them and I point out their flaws. Listen to me, Apollo. There's a weak point somewhere in Miss Tiala's testimony. But we don't know what her nervous habit is. Well, then what do we do? You have to perceive it, Apollo. With your eyes and your senses. Then it's up to me and my bracelet. I don't know why, but the bracelet really helps. Somehow touching it helps me focus. Okay. New Magatama, let's go with it. Why would I go to the clinic now for a half a year old chart? Let's perceive. Why would I 
go to the clinic. Look at these hands. Something sussy always happens with the hands, right? For a half-year-old chart. I didn't see anything happen with the hands. Did you? Huh. Look, let, let's look closely, boys. I'm looking. I'm looking. Like, oh, 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 she's fiddling with the ring! She's fiddling with the ring! I see it! Why go to the clinic for a half-year-old chart now, you ask? But you know why you would go now, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it was quite clear, Miss Tiawa. You have a nervous habit. <laughs> I love this mechanic. See, the moment you said the word, now, you used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. I, excuse me? She was unsure, I saw it. Now, that's the key word. <clears throat> the chart wasn't a part of your past. It was clear, and it was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Uh, if that were the case, I would have had six months to do something about it. That's true. Huh? Which means, something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you right now. Oh, I got her in the ropes, I can feel it. It's time to strike the killing blow, with evidence. Miss Tiala, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat to you now because of this. Um. Yeah, well, you see, it became a threat because, of course. Oh, because of this. Results from a checkup performed in June. Th this was performed June 14th, which is six months after January. So Walkie just found out about his condition, and that thing in the safe was evidence about... The other doctor knowing. I think it was this. The, the, the family checkup. A health checkup report belonging to the defendant. The Katakis are trying to get out of the business. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Nothing. Why should I think anything? Oh. I would think you were positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid you knew what Walkie's chest x-ray would reveal. A full half year had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free. When the chart came back to haunt you. Ah, oh, ha, ha, girl. Ah! My feathers! God, we wrecked her. That's all, Your Honor. I'm satisfied. What just happened? Did, did the witness just admit to lying? I sensed it. There was a great aura emanating from her forehead. Very cool, her forehead. Oh my god, hi, detective. I mean, not detective, prosecutor Gavin. Not here, not in front of the judge. We gotta be professionals about this. So the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic. But her connection was deep indeed. A bit too deep. If the Kataki's got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? You guessed it. Thank you. Order! I did it! I broke her testimony. Amazing, Apollo! I didn't see it at all. Daddy was right about you. Well, wait! Miss Tiala? It's true, the chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet with the doctor that day. But that's all. I told him about walking and went home. It appears this cross-examination is far from over. What? She hid the truth from us, this is clear, yet. It is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. The witness will add this to her testimony. And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. Oh, I was so close. You're still close. Keep on her, Apollo. Oh, I will. 
Nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. Mm. Let's press that. How did Dr. Maractus respond to the warning? Oh, he was quite surprised. Panicky, even. Who wouldn't be scared to learn a Kataki was after them? Incidentally, this court is not afraid of any mobsters. Why, we had a life-threatening situation just yesterday, right here in this courtroom. Yeah, real impressive the way you stood up to the attack of the amazing Mr. Hat. After which, I carried you back to your chambers. Sounds like the judge had quite a fright. Nothing happened in Dr. Maractus' office that day, huh? But what about the mess we found? Something definitely happened in that office, Apollo. Oh, I know. But we can't really prove when it happened. Yeah, nor that Alita was involved. Well, let's try putting some evidence up anyway. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? It's time to figure out what really happened at that clinic and fast. Oh, interesting. First time. Went to warn him, she knew Waki had the pistol, the doctor, always a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Why would I go for everything? Sure. Nothing happened at all. I warned him, and then I left. I mean, we have evidence that something... We have the lamp. But... And we have the bullet. Can we, can we check anything on the bullet? Wow, it's all mushed. That was one tough save. You know, it looks kind of yummy. I'm, uh, what? Like ice cream. Right. Okay, that's fine, Shrusi. You have you have an active imagination. <laughs> so maybe we present the lamp? It has a broken bulb found in the Maractus Clinic office with a broken bulb and a red stain on the cord. Uh, I don't know if it would work, though. Nothing happened. I warned him and left. I just don't see how anything else would work. <laughs> I mean, Chirsey said, throw the evidence up anyways, and the lamp is our evidence, I guess, of a struggle that took place in the office at some point. Maybe also the bullets since the safe was shot, but we can't prove when either of these two things happened. Um... Objection! Damn it! The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. No, it is not. Justice. Taking quite a lot of penalties today. Fuck. Let's have a save of confidence really quick. Really quick. Whoops. You know, why does it start on no? That's a bit obnoxious. Okay. Better. Um... I warned him, and I left. I warned him, and I left. I warned him, and then I left. Ah! The noodle stand? How does that come into play? The bullet, maybe? Found in the Maractus Clinic safe. Squished from impact with the back of the safe. Ah... Uh, I just feel like it has to be something from the Maractus clinic. Objection! Ah! We got her! <laughs> you say nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? It looks like a squished up ball of clay. Kind of like you, actually. It's not even a good insult, hunty. I'm beautiful and I know it. This bullet was found at the Maractus Clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Tiala. Oh, I love this beat. Enough of this joking around. The police investigated that clinic. Oh, I object. But this was stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe? Oh, Gavin. I guess the police didn't check that far. But there is a problem, y'all. 
How can you say that? Bullets was fired on that day. Oh shit, we're going back and forth like there's no tomorrow! Weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? The pistol was taken from the Kataki Mansion that day. If the marks on this bullet match the murder weapon, then that proves a firearm was discharged in that office the day of the murder. Not bad, hair forehead. Bailiff, have this bullet analyzed immediately. Okay. Thirty minutes later. A report arrives. The rifling marks on both bullets are identical. Well, seems as though the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position. The bullet in that safe proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. And, at the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. Do you think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus in order to open the safe? Only one person was in a position to do such a thing. Our witness, Alita Tiala. Yeah, boys, we got her good. She's on the hot seat. Order! Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Alita Tiala knew about Walkie Kataki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him, and then the bullet finally reached its destination? Where are you going? That reminds me. Apparently, the Katakis have been asserting themselves in lawful business practices. They're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious! So she planned to marry him just to get her hands on his fortune. I ain't saying she a gold digger. <laughs> Between heaven and hell. Hi, George. Working late tonight, but stop by to say hello. Can't wait to watch this after night and have a great rest of the stream. Thank you, Between heaven and hell. I hope work goes well. Who objected? What? Walkie? Yo, you keep talking trash about my Alita, man. What gives? I'll sue ya. Um, me? Yeah, you said... You said you'd... You'd... You'd abuse my Alita! Um, I think you mean accuse, but go off. Same difference! Well, look, you can't have her! She's mine! It was me! I shot the doctor! Me! He left me to die, pal! So I left him to die, too! Man, that park, you know what I'm saying, G? Walkie, please. No, please sit down. You keep your hands off my Alita, or I'll get real feisty! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Miss Tiala! I'm sorry. I just... Oh, it's been so long since I've laughed so hard. Something funny, Miss Tiala? <laughs> Waki. Wake up and smell reality. Uh, Alita, baby? The signature on the charts, the engagement... Honestly, come on, it's so obvious. Even for a brainless, spoiled brat such as yourself. Alita? Your honesty is like a breath of foul air, Frau Loin. I wasn't getting out of this clean anyway. So the family fortune, that's what you're really after. Yeah, I think we've all established that, Captain Obvious. I wanted the money. Yo, no way! That's whack! I ain't trying to hear that! Uh, should have done the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, mind if I ask you a question? Uh, me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me? Accuse? Of what crime, might I ask? Huh? Oh. I'm, I'm a bad girl. Sure, there's no debate about that. I got close to that stupid fucking idiot because I wanted his money. But he was the one with the pistol. He could have fired it into the safe after I already left the clinic. What? I'd never do a thing like that. It was definitely the dumb fucking numbskull who's part of the gang. Wait, 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 but what are you talking about? Trucy? You had the most to lose if this chart was found. 
Right, but I didn't have a pistol, now did I, sweetie? Are you even paying attention to the trial that's happening? Oh, well, you could have taken walkies. Don't you think he would have mentioned that? All I've heard him say was, it's me, I shot him. Sounds like he's ready to confess. Objection! That's only because he's trying to protect you. I can't believe how much of a bitch she is. Oh, I like, what's funny is I like her a little bit better now. She's a little bit more fun to me when she, when she drops the act of trying to be nice. <laughs> Sorry to intrude in this lovely conversation. But the two of you are forgetting one critical point. W what point? Certainly the Frau Loin wanted the chart. You assume she threatened the doctor into opening that safe then. But then, wouldn't she have taken the chart? Oh... You see. The chart wouldn't have been left in the safe. Apollo, I think he's right. He is! Miss Tiala. Yes? It is clear to this court that you are not a very good fiancé. <laughs> Alright, throw her in the brig, she's a bad wife. <laughs> Women needing rights? What? Vanilla Gaming. Honestly, she's girl bossing right now, we should let her go. <laughs> no, that's bad. Oh, I'm flattered, honestly. Perhaps it's time you told us the truth. Tell us about yourself, including your actions and whereabouts on that day. And don't forget, we've proven that you were at the Maractus Clinic on the day of the crime. Um, all right. Yeah, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. I wanted the chart, but I failed to get it. So I went back to the clinic later. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof that I stole a pistol, do you? And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Genocide. <laughs> you went back later. The chart was dangerous, you understand. I needed to get rid of it, that's why I went that day. But you couldn't get to the chart then, could you? And later that night, Dr. Maractus was shot. I heard about the shooting, waited a day, but then I still had to go back. Noisy feet with the cops all over the place. Ah, so that was you! Apollo, that sound, it came from behind the door! She's the thief, I think we all saw that coming. A break-in, they left through the window. So you were the burglar. Oh, it was you too. <laughs> if only I had one more minute. Then I could have opened the safe and gotten the chart. But that's trespassing! That's brazen at that! Oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Are we in a trial for trespassing right now? I thought we were here for murder. Besides, you can't blame a girl for wanting to protect herself. They're gangsters, you know. Holy shit. Listen, you would be the star of the Real Housewives of Japan Japanifornia. Honestly, reality TV would eat you up. In any case, Mr. Justice, your cross-examination. Admitting the little crime to avoid the big one, eh? We've seen that played out before. Alright, let's start pressing this girl. Why that day? The brat was pretty uncontrollable. He was ready to kill. And that would bring in the police. And that chart would become evidence. And I'd be hung out to dry. But the police didn't check the safe, did they? Well, they thought the crime scene was the park. I'll make sure the responsible parties feel the heat. Such sloppiness won't be tolerated, ya. Yeah. Ugh, I, I'm kind of thankful for the sloppiness. I wanted the chart, but I failed to get it, so I went back to the clinic later. Didn't even shoot him. I mean, let's press this anyways. I, I don't think there's anything relevant here, but we can try. Later. When I heard what happened, I was too scared to do anything that day. So I waited until the day after. The 16th, was it? Of course, you and that meddling kid had to get in the way. Why did Dr. Maractus keep the chart around? It was clearly dangerous for him. He could have burned it. Because he's a coward. The chart was his insurance. How do you mean? My signature on the chart, to be more specific. That made sure I couldn't betray him. 
Interesting. So he was blackmailing you a little bit, which would give you a pretty good motive to commit murder. But you could have stolen it. Could have? Wow, is that your definition of proof? Honestly, I thought you were good at your job. Are you like, stupid or something? Iconic line from Dahlia, I had to throw it in there. Uh, well, we'll ask Walkie, he'll tell us. Do you think so, Apollo? You might actually be a little stupid. Might I remind you this is a cross-examination, Herr Forehead? You might want to keep your baseless theories to yourself. Ugh. He's right, isn't he? Alright, he was spotted at the moment of the crime. Right, okay. Well, yeah, but... Um... But what? Got nothing to say? Cat got your tongue? This case is over. It was over the moment that brat was seen in the park. Ugh, what's the point of even dragging it out any further? Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Meradictus was shot in the temple or not. That's a weird thing to say. The doctor was shot in the right temple, yes? So it seems. Let's review the facts again, shall we? Oh good, our chart. <laughs> Can't get enough of this. If the killer shot from this location, the bullet would have struck the victim square in the forehead. However, the entry wound was in the right temple. Right. Yes, we've heard this testimony from yesterday. At the time of the shooting, the witness was standing here. No, Your Honor, that's not correct anymore. Just before the gun was fired, he shouted. The victim turned his head to look. And was shot. No, that's not correct. Objection. Yeah, thank you, Apollo. SS Park 2014, today's your birthday. Happy birthday! How old are you? Are you decaying yet? <laughs> but that testimony was proven to be a lie, Your Honor. Our egregious bar pervy panty snatcher, Mr. Stickler, did witness the crime, but he was standing to the north, next to the trash can, where he tossed those panties. If Mr. Stickler shouted from this location, the bullet couldn't have hit his right temple. Honestly, you silly attorney. What? Do you remember what you had for breakfast that morning? Do you remember Trucy? Well, I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. Ew, that's a weird breakfast. What matters is one thing, the doctor was shot in his right temple. If that's the case, there can only be one explanation. The panties guy was mistaken. Objection. Yeah, no, 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 because we have evidence that he put the panties in the trash can. His location was proven. You can't write that off as him being mistaken. Objection. Then why don't you show us hair forehead? Show you what? Must I explain everything? Very well, let's recap. If the witness, Panties Guy, was standing to the north of Panties Guy- I love that nobody's calling him his actual name. Then where was the shooter standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? Ah, but wait! If the witness was standing there, how could anyone shoot the victim in the right temple? Oh, merely laid out the facts for us, guys. I solved this case. I know the answers. I know everything. I feel so powerful. I feel ten steps ahead of the, the logic in this game now. I know that Alita's our killer. I know our victim got shot in the right temple. And I know how she did it. And I'm going to prove it in this courtroom today. I have all of, I have everything I need. I know what's going on. It's up to the one possessing the shiny forehead to show us. If you can, that is. Oh, I can. Walkie Kataki was standing at the killer mark. Wesley Stickler at the witness mark. And of course, Palmeractus is at the victim mark. Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. Where was the killer standing when they shot the victim? At the killer mark, at the wh they were standing someplace else. As the fact stands now, we can't explain this crime. Without contradicting ourselves at some point. But I know why. The real killer shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. Oh, really? 
Apparently, Mr. Justice does. Let's hear it. Where in the park did the killer shoot the victim from? What you gotta to object to, afraid I'm gonna wipe your ass? Whoop your ass? Guys, my, my trash talk isn't very good. Listen, just come home with me. And it's time to raise the roof and the stakes. Huh? Penalties are such a frightening things, don't you think? But what if they were a bit more terrifying? Your Honor, is this allowed? Wow, that's a bit much. Oh, double penalty? Well, fuck, I lost a lot of life, so double penalty's all I have left. Herr Forehead wishes to take us in a new direction. Then he must be ready for the challenges ahead. Honestly, I'm so confident, I don't even care. I'm not even gonna do a save of confidence, I'm so confident. Challenge accepted! A Apollo, are you sure about this? Oh, I'm sure. I've never been so sure of any case in my life. The key is the witness, Mr. Stickler's testimony. If we believe that, and we know where he stood, and the victim turned when he shouted, there's only one place our killer could have been. The killer shot the victim from... This very spot, Your Honor, Alita Tiala was inside of the noodle stand. That is why the noodle stand comes into this case. It had to hide her body so nobody would have witnessed her. She popped a cap in the man's right temple when he turned to go look at Wesley Stickler because the right temple is facing the inside of the noodle stand. And then on top of that, Your Honor, she stepped out of the noodle stand in her little slipper, which we know Alita was wearing, and she left it in the trash can, and she left a footprint behind. Take that! I know everything. I believe we all owe a debt of gratitude. To Miss Alita Tiala. I beg your pardon. Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time, we were prepared. We know that Wesley Stickler was telling the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. Do, do, do. Wesley Stickler was standing next to the trash can when he saw the two men. Wombo, look at us do our rotation. He shouted just as he told us his testimony. Sir, look out! My gentlemen, can't we solve this like gents? And the victim turned to look in his direction. A shot was fired and the victim was hit in the right temple. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Which direction was his right temple facing, though? That's right, toward the noodle stand. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. So you're saying the killer was inside the noodle stand? What you gotta say? Let's think about this a bit more, shall we? You say the killer was inside the noodle stand. Which would mean the victim, Dr. Maractus, came to the park, wheeling his own murderer in the cart behind him. Honestly, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. I'd think you'd notice if you were pulling someone along. Yeah, I'm sure he knew he was carrying someone along. I'm sure you threatened him with a gun. You came up and you were like, listen, Bob, you're gonna carry me to People Park or you're gonna get shot. It's not that hard to explain. Oh, there's something we should worry about before that. Why was he pulling the noodle stand in the first place? Objection! Let's deal with our problems one at a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We have not come this far to talk about possibilities. Let's talk about proof, baby. Show us evidence that proves someone was in that stand. Can I prove that? You want evidence that someone was in the stand? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna use the save of confidence. I, I think I have an idea, actually. I, I think I can prove it. I've got it. I've got it right here. Intriguing, let's see what you've got. Show us proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand. I was so curious how this was gonna come into play. Custom made Eldon's Noodles bowls, decorated with the Eldon's Noodle mascot. Wait, is that what I wanna present? I think it is. All right, here's, here's my logic, and here's why it might be wrong, but also why it might be right. The Maractus Clinic was full of all of the bowls, the bowls that are supposed to be inside Eldun's stand, so we gutted the stand of all of the bowls so that the girl could fit inside, right? Look at this bowl, Your Honor, and tell me I'm wrong. Thoughts, Prosecutor Kevin. We have a choice between heaven or hell. 
Either our brains are damaged or our foreheads is. Fuck! I wonder which it is. Damn it! <laughs> I thought I was onto something there. <laughs> Show us proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand. Okay, Your Honor. I'm, I, let me try this one more time. Um, slippers used by patients of the Marex Clinic. Big toe print. That, my other evidence is that. Victim died pulling it. Can I check inside the stand really quick? Guess not. Okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I know everything that happened. I guess the, the slippers could be the only other thing that makes even a lick of sense if it wasn't the bowl. There, there's nothing else that would work here. Because the slipper print was found outside of the noodle stand at People Park. Hey! There it is! God damn it. The Maractus Clinic, and they've covered with paint. These slippers were found in a trash can near the crime scene. And... A single slipper print was found at the scene. There it is. Right next to the noodle stand. Oh, and Miss Tiala. Your toe print was found in the left slipper, by the way. You big oily toad freak. In other words, this is proof you were inside that noodle stand. Ah! Sorry, I don't know how to do women's screams. Like, eek! Sounds so not correct. Yet there was only one slipper mark found at the sea. Can this be called a footprint in good faith? Well, what would you call a footprint? Observe the diagram! A park pathway runs right next to the slipper mark. A slipper wouldn't leave a trace on a cobblestone path. Oh, good point. Yet you still cannot say this is a footprint, yeah? Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper. What if it was on the stand and simply fell to the ground? No, 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 no that's not how footprints work. That's just, that's just dumb. One more thing. A noodle stand is typically cluttered with tools of the noodle making trade. Oh, I'll make your noodle look like something. There's no room for a person that- This is where I need the bowl, god damn it. Ah, oh, you have a point. Could someone have hidden in that stand? Apollo, I think I might be onto something. Trucy, I've been there. I think I figured out one of our pieces of evidence. In order to make room in the stand, some things would have to be... taken out. Well, Mr. Justice, you have proof that someone could have hidden in the stand. Oh, this time I can prove it. So much so that I don't even need my save of confidence again. It's all coming together. Take a look at this bowl. This is a noodle bowl from the st stolen Eldon's noodles. She wow. Let let's try this line again. <clears throat> this is a noodle bowl from the stolen Eldon's noodles noodle stand. Yes, and what about it? We discovered a large quantity of these bowls yesterday. In the lobby of the Maractus Clinic. A large quantity of noodle bowls in the victim's clinic. Mr. Eldon was very clear about these bowls. Well, I don't care who did it without that stand, though. I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there, too. Yet the bowls were removed. That night, there was space inside the noodle stand. Space created for the Maractus Clinic. Space created at the Maractus Clinic, no less. Right around the time that you were there, Miss Alita Tiala. Stop! I'm not gonna listen to any more of these wild fantasies. No, not fantasies. They're worse lies than that spoiled brat's stupid fucking pickup lines. I would like to remind the witness that cursing in a court of law is unacceptable. And the court does not consider you entirely innocent. Show me an innocent person, I'll show you a fairy tale. Everybody's got skeletons in their closets. In any case, the defense has somehow made its point. The witness had both a motive and an opportunity to kill Dr. Maractus. More fairy tales. This whole trial is nothing but a fairy tale. Well then please, why don't you pull us back down to reality, Miss Tiala? I'm giving you one last chance to explain yourself. Now this is it. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stance that night? And what was Alita Tiala doing inside of it? 
It's time to get to the bottom of this case. I'm, fe I'm feeling on a roll right now. That night, I went to ask Dr. Maractus for the chart. I had no intention of ever letting the chart fall into the Kataki family's hands. But Dr. Maractus didn't understand. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. Mm -mm. You knew about the botched operation, so you tried to get rid of the chart to save yourself. I won't make excuses. And I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. I told him that Brett got his health checkup report. And that he was coming to settle the score. Hmm, I see. Very well, Mr. Justice. Begin your cross-examination. Oh, I will, Your Honor. This is the last testimony. Either I perceive the truth, or it's over. Oh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. We gotta perceive. Okay. Oh, it's active for the entire testimony. I mean, it's flashing for the entire testimony. So maybe I could fuck this up. I wonder if I could. Let's press- let's, st let's start with a save of confidence, <laughs> and then let's because I don't know if I get penalized if I, uh, if I, um, use my bracelet incorrectly. Hold it! But where is the lie? So you did go to steal that chart. Were you even listening? I said I asked him for it. The victim was a man in good health. I don't see how she could have coursed him. True, it would have been impossible without a pistol. But what if she did have a pistol? I'll admit I wanted the chart, that much is true. My reason was simple. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kataki family's hands, right? We can press that. It certainly would have put a damper on your wedding plans, I'd say. Not only that, if the Katakis had gotten the chart, I'd probably be with Dr. Maractus right now, pulling that great noodle stand in the sky. It seems our witness was in a fix as well. Who would want to die pulling a noodle stand? When I die, it's going to be by disappearing mysteriously in the middle of a magic act. That's great, Trucy. You're going to be real famous one day. Could we be a little less morbid, though? So you see, I needed the chart. Uh, Dr. Marcus didn't understand. He didn't understand? He wouldn't listen to a word I was saying. The moment he saw me, he started to tremble. <laughs> I thought, what a sad excuse for a man. You could not smile like that. It's a little bit creepy. He was practically delusional. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. Okay. They sent you? He thought the Katakis had sent me to get the chart. Hmm. It makes some sense. You are their son's fiance. That doesn't make sense. They shouldn't have known about the chart. Don't make me laugh. The Katakis send me. They don't play that way. If they'd known about that chart, they would have gone in there with guns blazing. Right. But I couldn't convince the trembling doctor otherwise. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. If that was really all that happened, what were all those noodle bowls doing there? How should I know? There weren't any bowls when I went, I know that much. Why don't you let me be and go look for your killer someplace else, alright? Do I detect uncertainty there? Oh! This is my last chance. Apollo, any word from your bracelet? Yeah, actually. I felt it respond. Really? I couldn't see a thing. It's up to you, Apollo! Time to perceive the truth. Here comes justice. Alright. She does this, which is suspicious. No intention of ever letting the chair fall into Kataki family's hands. Didn't understand. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. Let's try this. Let's look for something we can perceive. So, well, let's look at her hands. I gave up and went home. Right, right. Looking at the hands, looking at them. Oh, 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 oh! She's scratching her scarf. She's guilty as sin. She scratched. She did a little, she did a little scratchy scratch. All I did was talk and lie. 
What? Show me proof. I'm pretty sure about this one. I think I'm getting the hang of this. A little slip up in confidence, and they give it all away. The proof is you, Miss Tiala. All I did was talk to him, you claim. Yet you can't hide your own nervous twitch when you say those words. My twitch? What are you going off about? You have a habit of scratching the area of your neck around the edge of your scarf. <gasps> Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to remove that scarf. I think you have marks on you. Maybe marks from a lamp cord? I only bring it up because we haven't used the lamp yet. This is working better than I hoped. Her unconscious actions tell the truth. Habits and lies, two dots. Connect the dots and find the truth. Jude, proof! You were itchy. She's itchy, she's guilty. Don't look at me like that, I told you the truth. It seems that when you recall what really happened in that office, you can't keep your hands off your neck. Seems that nervous habits are unconscious reactions that manifest when someone is trying to hide something. You can't hide behind your scarf, Miss Tiala. Something happened between you and the victim in the Maractus Clinic office. And I've got proof that shows exactly what happened. I'm so fucking confident that I'm gonna send the lamp. <laughs> What's that? You're touching your scarf again. Ah, oh, we got her! There's something unusual about this lamp. The bulb is broken, and there's a red splotch on the cord. Huh? Seeing how you hide your neck, I think I can come up with a plausible explanation for the lamp's state. We'll spit it out then. The talking in circles nonsense is killing me. Very well. The answer is very simple. Miss Alita Tiala, take off your scarf. <laughs> Excuse me? No! Sorry, I wish I could scream for her, but also I shouldn't be screaming in my apartment. Just talking loud is probably enough to piss people off. Can you imagine if I was shouting? Objection! Yes, like that. This is a trial to determine what happened in the park. Yet we seem to have drifted off target. Oh, we'll find out soon enough if we're drifting. All I do is drift, baby. Drift with me. <laughs> As soon as the witness removes her scarf. I'm not gonna do that. This is insane. I'm an unrelated third party. You can't order me to remove my clothes. Miss Tiala. I'm afraid you've forgotten what's already been proven. What? You're hardly unrelated. Please, remove your scarf. Oh yeah, the judge is on my side. Uh, no! I knew it. So I was right, wasn't I, Miss Tiala? Oh, jeez, that's intense. Your neck! That isn't what I think it is. Listen, she's into some kinky shit, honestly. That's fine. That's wifey material right there. Something did happen that night at the Maractus Clinic. You needed to get this chart back no matter what it took, even if you had to steal your fiance's pistol to do it. Whoa, 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 wait. Looking at this lamp and this witness's neck, it appears the very opposite happened. Exactly. The victim in the clinic that night was this witness. Specifically, you tried to threaten Dr. Maractus and he attacked you. That's what happens that night at the Maractus Clinic. Oh. I, but listen, my feathers, my chest, my bloomers. Liz, someone stole panties today. Can't you focus on him? Order. Will someone please tell me what really happened? I told you the truth already. I went to the clinic that night to warn Dr. Maractus. That gangster knows everything. He's coming for you. Looks like my clinic's seen its last patient. We have to get rid of that chart. Quick, open your safe and give it to me. So you can save your own skin? What? I know what you're up to, little miss. You want in with the family. And if they see that chart, you're finished. Leaving me holding the short straw. But if I'm going down, I'll want some company. You. And what happens next? He jumped at me and knocked me to the floor. Then he took that cord. Palmeractus was serious, deadly serious. 
He tried to strangle me. Jesus. I must have blacked out. That was, that was an intense shot of some severe domestic violence. Ah, so. You were the victim. And the red splotch on the cord was your lipstick. I didn't want to remember that night. That's why I didn't bring it up. Thanks, Apollo. Are you happy now? Um, I... I don't feel the best at this moment, but, like, you're also a killer? I was out cold, almost killed, and you claim I then snuck into that noodle stand. Wait, is she a victim? She was out cold. Did he put her in the noodle stand? To, like, try to transport her body? What? Well, that's a twist I didn't see coming. Well, one thing is clear. We now know what's really happened at the Maractus Clinic. And it would seem that our victim is not entirely without blame herself. I'm sorry. I get so nervous just thinking of it. It's hard to breathe. I've told you everything. Can I go home now? Hmm. You bear some responsibility for the events that day, that is true. But if you were also a victim, this court would owe you some sympathy. Well, Mr. Justice, I believe this clears up the remaining questions for Miss Tiala. Well, not not entirely. I mean, I don't want to kick her while she's down, but, like, somebody still killed him. Suddenly everyone's sympathizing with her. It's all an act. I don't know what to think anymore, Apollo. I mean, is that it? Do we know everything we need to know about Miss Tiala? Very well, this finishes the cross-examination of this- Oh! Oh! Clavier? <laughs> Not so fast. This party's just getting started. Now we rock, baby! What? Those spikes on your head are softer than they look. Or do you not have the stomach to go all the way, ya? Yeah? Prosecutor Gavin! Palmeractus choked Alita Tiara. She fell unconscious, ya. Yeah? But then what happened next? He's right! There's more we don't know. But she was choked hard enough to leave that mark. She would have been out for a while. Even still, what if it was her that was in the noodle stand? Alita Tiala, half dead. <laughs> Great description. Dr. Maractus pulling that stand, and a bullet fired from inside the noodle stand? What if it's all true? We might have already figured out what surely happened that night. Miss Alita Tiala, as you can see, we're not through with you just yet. You really are dead set on blaming me for this murder, aren't you? You too, prosecutor? Me? Frau Loin, I only wish to know the truth. He's kind of like us. He's a truth seeker. Well, let's go back over what we've learned up until now. On the day of the murder, Walkie saw his checkup report. From which he learned about the bullets still inside of him. So, he took a pistol from the family stash with the intent to give Dr. Maractus some of his own medicine. And Miss Tiala heard about it, this from Waki. So she went to the Maractus clinic ahead of him in order to get rid of the chart with her signature. But then something happened. Oh God, show it to us some more. Sounds like you figured it all out. But remember, I was the victim. I was out cold. But what about Dr. Maractus? That does seem to be the problem. He had just strangled Alita Tiala. Perhaps he thought, to death. What would he do after his crime? I was just knocked out, not dead. From the state of his clinic and the scene of the park. I think it's clear what the good doctor did next. Well, Hair Forehead, care to guess? Oh, it's not a guess. Mr. Justice, what did Dr. Maractus do? Maybe he did think he killed Alita. Do I have evidence to show what he did next? Evidence? 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 The noodle stand? I mean, that's what he did next. He died pulling the noodle stand. Can I do a save of confidence? Fuck me, I cannot. 
Oh god, I can't do a save of confidence. I hope it's the noodle stand. <gasps> um... I mean, he pulled the noodle stand. That's what he did next. He put her inside of the noodle stand. Everything I think makes sense there. As his next move, Dr. Maractus stole Guy Eldun's noodle stand. God bless, thank God. <laughs> I get nervous when there's only one life left. What? Killing me disturbed him that much? So much he randomly stole a noodle stand? It wasn't so random. Remember all the bowls in the clinic's foyer? Bowls that belonged inside the stand? I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? That stand was at the clinic. However, the question is why did he remove the bowls? Maybe because the stand was heavy? Or he wanted to put something in the stand in their place. Ah, oh, wait. You don't mean. Oh, I do. Dr. Maractus did replace those bowls with something. Your corpse, Miss Tiala. My corpse? Well, you know what I mean. Dr. Maractus panicked. He thought he'd killed you. His next move would be to dispose of the body. How's a doctor not going to be able to check for someone's pulse? What? <laughs> Was this man even a doctor? That's crazy talk, you're all crazy. Well, let's think about it, logically. The doctor had a place to dispose of you in mind, but on his way there, who should he run into but the defendant Waki Kataki? I question your logic. What's this, Prosecutor Gavin? The park is a dead end. Why would he head in that direction to begin with? Wasn't there like water nearby? A river or something? That's right. He had no reason to go there. Oh, I get it now. It was a trick. That spoiled brat made him do it. He made the doctor steal the stand. No, let me look at the map. Can you see? Yeah, there's like a river. He was gonna dump your body. Sweetheart. <laughs> Tell me, why would someone go to a dead end? Unless the park was his destination. What? Apparently the defense has an idea. Tell us where Dr. Maractus was heading with the stand. Show us on this diagram, to where exactly the victim, where, to where exactly was the victim dragging the stand. I think it's to the water. Take that! I hope I'm right. There! That's a river! Yes, your honor. I scarcely need to explain why. A perfect place to dispose of a body. He was gonna throw me into the river? He didn't have many other options, Browloin. I believe this clears up all of the remaining questions. The victim pulling the stand and the defendant before him. And inside that stand, you, Miss Alita Tiala. And then... The denouement. Wesley Stickler, of panty-snatching fame, walks up. Seeing the two men, he shouts. In that instant, Alita wakes up, nervous, and she shoots. Right? <laughs> oh my god, that character model, though. So I shot him? You were the only one who could have stolen Waki's pistol. It had to be you. Well, Miss Tiala. <sighs> nice work. You mean, I'm right? I mean, you've done a fine job dreaming up a story. To get that spoiled brat off the hook. You're the one who's dreaming. Apollo's backed up everything he said with facts. If you're so sure he's mistaking, uh, making it up, then give us a reason. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand through the park? Who knows? But there's one gaping hole in your logic. I think Mr. Gavin knows whereof I speak. Whereof what? I can't believe she's still trying to deny this. Is this true, Prosecutor Gavin? Must I always be the one to point out her forehead's errors? Denouement. The resolution. Thank you, Tim Wiggins. Wait, what? I believe the Frauloin speaks of Herr Doctor's car. His car? That's right, the Maractus Clinic has that big garage. In which sat a green sports car, was it? Why would he steal the stand in the first place? If he wanted to carry a body, he would have used his car. He damaged his car. Did you guys forget about the beginning of the case? 
So we've got our defense without a case. Um, I have an idea. You know that green car? I bet it wouldn't run. It was broken. Ah, oh, what an excellent counter-argument, Frauloin. Too bad you're quite wrong. Huh? Mm. Don't tell me you've forgotten what happened to your daddy. Daddy? That's right. That night, the car that hit Mr. Wright was the green sports car. Ah, oh, yes, I nearly forgot about it. Afterward, he drove it back to the garage. It ran fine. That's right. So why didn't he use his beloved sports car, hmm? Because he had already been in a hit-and-run accident and police were probably looking for it. A glaring contradiction, to be sure. More glaring than your forehead. Huh. This is- this is taking a turn for the worst. What, uh, Mr. Justice? Why didn't Dr. Maractus use his car to carry the bomb? Well, um... Is that a grown of surrender? I say that this is all hearsay, and I object to it because just offering another thing he could have done doesn't mean that he wouldn't have done the thing that he did. That- no, that, that, that's not how logic works. Some advice. Now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. Everything I've learned. Mr. Justice, this contradiction casts doubt on your entire case. This is truly your last chance. Oh, God. Can I save? <laughs> I can. God bless. Alright. I got this. Um, what happened that night? Someone else stole the stand. The car didn't run. He carried the body in the car. Huh? I'm- I have- <laughs> I am confusion. So we just established that the car did run. Someone else stole the stand. It doesn't make sense, because, like, he died carrying the stand. So I guess he did carry the body in the car? Do I... Mirror... Autopsy report... I don't... I... How do I know exactly what happened, but I, kn I don't know what happened? W what am I mistaken here? Someone... I... He carried... I... I... But... I mean, let's- let's follow this rabbit hole and see where it- see where it goes? The victim used the car to carry the body! Ah, so you're throwing out everything you've proven up until now. Well, if the car wasn't broken... I admire your adaptability in the face of impossible odds. Yet this does not explain why he was pulling the stand. Well, what's going on? Is Prosecutor Gavin trying to tell me something? Perhaps we need to ask you again. This is truly your last chance. Oh, oh god, it's one of these, where it's not really my last chance. So, someone else stole the stand, then. Actually, it was someone else who stole the stand. But then why was the victim pulling it? A good question, Your Honor. Well, um... He would have had to steal it from someone else. Without exp Oh, so it is that the car didn't run? What? I have an idea. It's all coming together. That night, Dr. Maractus couldn't use his car. Now you're making even less sense than usual. Not according to my information, Miss Tiala. Put one and one together and the explanation is simple. If it's so simple, perhaps you can show us some evidence. Show us proof why the car wouldn't run that night. Why it wouldn't run? Or why it didn't run? See, there's two different questions here. Why it... The, the, the phone proves that the car did not run... The, the phone proves that he did not take his car. Maybe that's why I'm getting confused. 
Because I'm trying to think of the wrong thing. They're, they're trying to say that the car... They're trying to prove that the car could run, and so they've got me thinking that I have to prove that the car could not have ran. But it's not that the car was broken, it's just that he didn't take the car, because the cell phone was under the wheel. If he had taken the car back out, the cell phone would have been crushed. That's what I think is correct. This is proof of why the car broke down that night. Well, Prosecutor Gavin. Ah, oh, it's proof of malfunction, all right. A malfunction in her forehead spring. God damn it! No! <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no! How do I... Did I... F damn it. I lost. I totally lost. Oh, man. Sorry, walkie. Son of a bitch. I can't believe I lost on the second case. I very rarely do so bad that I actually lose. This is embarrassing. Ugh. Try again. Yeah, try again. Obviously, I want to try again. That, that's a nice feature that they have. So wait, 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 how far back did this take me? Wait, 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 what? I don't want to start from here. Surely I saved more recently than this. How do I go back to the title screen? This is not correct. No, no, we went we, we went back way too far. I, I had to have saved after this. So, <laughs> that is not a nice feature. Well, let me try and find my save state. <laughs> I'm so confused by all of this. Continue. Load from my save point. Yeah, that was here. Okay, weird, weird game is weird. The car didn't run. Right, and then I need evidence that the car didn't run. <laughs> Son of a fucking bitch. We're running out of time for this stream too. I need to wrap it up here. <laughs> I can my information, Miss Tiala, put one and one together, and the explanation is simple. Show some evidence, show us proof why the car wouldn't run the- Technically, I- I think that the phone should work in saying that he didn't take it out again. So is it the mirror? Turn off the car that hit Mr. Wright, fits a car at the Marex Clinic. I don't know how- you, you can drive a car without a mirror. I mean, you're already committing so many crimes. Oh my god, it's- Panties. The answer is panties. Can't wait to can't wait to whip these out in the courtroom again. God damn it, Trucy. Panties again, Apollo. Honestly. All sorts of things come out of my panties. Even the truth. <laughs> She's not amused. Another crime was committed the night of the murder. The theft of these panties. The latest in a string of similar thefts, actually. But that night, the snatcher was caught in the act. A brave young girl chased the thief until he hid. In the Maractus Clinic garage, no less. What? The snatcher hid the panties there before running. Perhaps someone in this court remembers where he hid them. They were found in the car's exhaust pipe. Exactly. By the way, I learned something yesterday. A very important piece of information. And I learned it from you, Prosecutor Gavin. Um, see so where you're investigating- Wow, I forgot about this scene, but yeah, it's all coming flashing back to me. And I was on my way home when some- my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? Yeah, I want to ride it sometime, baby. My motorcycle won't start from a clogged exhaust pipe. Right, they really did hand it to me. I just simply forgot. They're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. 
Hmm, how interesting. While Miss Tiala and the doctor were struggling, the Panty Snatcher snuck into the Maractus Clinic garage. From that time until the time we found these, that car wouldn't start. What? That's why Dr. Maractus had to use the noodle stand. It was the next closest thing he could think of. What you gotta say, bubs? Have I, have I done it? Have I solved the case? Well, Miss Tiala, this wraps your doubts up quite nicely, I think. So it does. Where am I? It's so dark, I can't see. It's cramped. My throat is burning. What's your problem, kid? Yo, Doc! I know what you did! Uh, Walkie? You lied to me! So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a taste of your medicine, pal! W wait let me explain. Fine, I'll give you a last request. Listen, you're being tricked, but not how you think. It's not just me. <gasps> no, he's gonna ruin everything. I have to stop him. Cease this at once, gentlemen, we can solve this like men. So Walkie had the knife, she had the pistol. Funny. This isn't the way it was supposed to turn out. Yeah, no kidding. Oh well. Too bad. <laughs> wow, she had such a calm, uh, calm letdown. There's still one mystery. How did you manage to disappear from the stand? In the silence after the shot, I heard the witness running. I believe we heard as much from Wesley Stickler. He went to use a public phone to inform the police. That's when I made my escape. Which is when you left that slipper print. Dr. Maractus didn't bother taking my slippers off. I threw them out after I stepped in that paint, though. And that was your mistake. No, my biggest mistake was coming to you for help, Mr. Justice. Huh? I believed in you. You and your anything agency. If anyone would get Walkie declared guilty, it had to have been you. Wow, you bet against me. You nasty little bitch. I, f I, I forgot that she's the one who asked for our services. I believe we've reached a conclusion of sorts. Prosecutor Gavin, how is Miss Alita Tia doing? She's confessed to everything. We're processing her arrest now. Prosecutor Gavin sure seems calm for someone who just lost. I feel like he already knew. He'd have figured out she was the killer a while ago. Some advice. Now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the last two days. He lost, but I didn't really win either. Hmm, something the matter, hair forehead. He's an interesting dude, Clavier. Hmm, looks like it's time to announce a verdict. Not guilty, boys! We got it! Court is adjourned. June 17th, 4, 12 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. Great job, Apollo! You did it! Yeah, we did somehow. Walkie's off the hook. Free to become the gangster he's always wanted to be. And he has you to thank. Yo, a Tony man! You gotta pay for what you did to my Alita, Holmes! Or to blame, I guess. You give me my Alita back! Stupid pointy-headed Tony with a death wish! I'll bust a cap in your ass, G! Enough, Walkie. Oh, enough, Walkie. Mr. Kataki. It's high time you opened your eyes, Walkie. What do you know, old man? I think it's about time you opened yours! Giving up the life? Trying to become some kind of businessman? Don't talk about what you don't understand, Walkie. I'm afraid the guard's gonna throw them both out. <laughs> if not in jail, wouldn't it, that be a happy ending? Hey, maybe we can help them out. We know why Mr. Kataki needs to make so much money. Maybe we should tell Walkie. Oh. Oh, Walkie! Apollo has something to tell you. Wait, what? I do? 
gonna put me on the spot. What's that? Show him the reason why, Apollo. Why is Mr. Kotaki trying to become a businessman? Probably to save his son, right? Um... I'm curious, what, maybe the checkup report? Did it say anything about money? I mean, it, he knows that he would need a surgery from the exam. I will wait for the 30 second delay. Chat, this is one you can explicitly tell me, because I think if I fuck it up, I don't get a second chance. I believe the answer here is the checkup report. I, I think the answer is, like, he saw that, oh shit, my son's got a bullet inside of him, I'm gonna have to pay to get that out. Am I correct in this? Or am I not? Chat, you, you have my permission to tell me explicitly this answer. I do not consider it a spoiler, because I've already taken my guess. Just tell me if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> um... Do, do, bum, 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 bum. I think it's correct. <laughs> nah, break Walkie's kneecaps. The one that's in the safe, I think. Either or, Walkie's chart or checkup report will, report will. Oh, so either one will work? You guys are sure about that? Chat is divided. <laughs> Whichever works. Oh, you guys, you guys seem pretty confident that it doesn't matter which one it is, so... I'm gonna go with the checkup report. Take that! Think about it, Walkie. Think about your condition. Yeah, sure enough. I talked with your mother, Little Plume, yesterday. It pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. They're trying to save you, you ungrateful bastard child. Yo, she doesn't mean... You aren't really... Are you? Search the globe. And I found one. A doctor who can take that bullet out of you, Walkie. But it's an expensive procedure. M man but... You got plenty of money already, don't you? I won't use it. Huh? It was the gangster life that did this to you, Walkie. I want to help you. And I want to do it clean. Oh my god, his eyebrow movement. Oh! Oh, he has eyes! Oh! <gasps> Please understand, Walkie. D Dad? Come on. Give, give me some tears. I, I want to see some thick, juicy tears out of your face. I want to see you cry. Man, I, I see how it is, old man. Oh, he's looking out for... Out for... Listen, good old man, one day, one day, I'm gonna take you out. Then you're gonna see who's the OG. You just try and hide your business suit. I'll find you, stupid old geezer. Well, jeez, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. No, it's as it should be. Mr. Kataki, I liked him more without the puppy dogs. <laughs> I'm glad to have met you. Apollo Justice, I'm not so good with words. But I know a professional job when I see one. Thank you. Oh, who, me? Well, I mean, I don't think. Someday, I'll bake you one of our latest. The Kataki Lime Pie. He's opening a pie shop. So long. That is not the way I thought that family reunion was going to go. <laughs> and he's gone. Well, let's head back, Apollo. To the Right Anything Agency. Hey, since when do I work at your agency? I mean, you've been doing it the past couple days, and we make such a good team! Don't just stand there, let's get going! Huh? Well, uh, she did help me out. And there's a few questions that still need answers. Like, how am I gonna get paid? Oh, and this weird power of mine where I get high. And my bracelet! If anyone can help me figure it out, I guess it's her. I guess so. So I can't say I care much for what her father has become. <laughs> Savage. Oh, that's right! We have to go someplace first. Huh? Where? To claim our reward from Mr. Eldoon! Alright, noodles. You got a stand back already. Oh, and after that, you can see my show, Polly! With a special appearance from the amazing Mr. Hat. Of course. Oh, it's special, alright. Oh god, anything but him. Aw, and that is the end. That's so great. And now, I've said it before, a brand new episode has been added. Turn about Serenade. Ooh. So the sad news is, boys, is that we are... We're going to be taking a break from Apollo Justice for about a week. 
Um, like I said, Friday I am going out of town, so tomorrow is going to be the last night I can stream. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, but I don't want I don't want to start this case tomorrow, then go on vacation for a week and come back into it. So we're not going to play Apollo Justice tomorrow. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll think of something. Um, then I will be gone, and when I get back from Seattle, we will start whatever this turnabout serenade thing is. I feel like be being between cases is the perfect place to take a break. So I hope that some of you guys who are enjoying this playthrough, you will still be around when I get back from Seattle, and you will be here and ready to see more Apollo Justice. I'm sorry I can't keep it going every day. That's just the way it has to be for now. So, sorry for waiting, or sorry for making you guys wait, but I hope you'll be here tomorrow to do something with me as like a one-off, and then I hope that I will have some kind of content I can throw up on the channel during the week that I'm gone, and I will of course look forward to seeing you guys when I get back from Seattle. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. If you could leave a like on the stream because the light, the engagement is super helpful. And a lot of you guys have seemed to really be enjoying these Apollo Justice streams, which I like a lot. I can't wait to do the next case. I'm excited for it. And uh, I will see you guys when I see you next. All right. Toodles, boys.